Electric vehicles are supposedly powered by electricity, right? They are electric vehicles after all. But what if we told you that some EVs are partially powered by an IC engine? While battery EVs are fully electric, there are two other partially powered by an IC engine, the hybrid EV and the plug-in hybrid EV. Each type of electric vehicle has its own set of features that appeal to consumers and give them the flexibility to choose which is best suited for them. Here's a look at how each type of EV works. Battery EVs are all electric and solely run on electrical energy from a battery pack. As these EVs do not have an IC engine, drivers do not need to stop at gas stations. Instead, you would have to stop at charging stations to charge the battery pack by plugging it into an external power source. When you're ready to go, pressing on the accelerator will signal the motor to rotate, which in turn makes the wheels go round. Battery EVs being all electric have minimal reciprocating parts that reduce their overall cost of maintenance. A few battery EVs you may have come across are the Tesla Model 3, Chevy Bolt, and the Nissan Leaf. Unlike the battery EV that just has a battery pack, hybrid EVs have an electric motor and an IC engine. While the electric motor runs on the battery pack, the IC engine runs on fuel. Both the IC engine and the electric motor work together to propel the car forward. Even though the hybrid EV has a battery pack, it can't be charged by plugging into an external power source at the charging station. So, how would you charge the battery of a hybrid EV if it runs out of charge? Well, this is where the IC engine steps in. Hybrid EVs can charge their battery pack with the IC engine or by means of regenerative braking. There are two further types of hybrid EVs, the fully hybrid and the mild hybrid EVs. Fully hybrid EVs can operate on just the electric motor, IC engine, or a combination of both. The mild hybrid EV, on the other hand, can only operate when the IC engine and electric motor work together. However, the motor can only help out during acceleration because it has a lower power rating than the engine. Common models of hybrid EVs are the Toyota Prius, Toyota Camry Hybrid, and the Honda Civic Hybrid. Similar to hybrid EVs are the plug-in hybrid EVs, which also have an IC engine and electric motor responsible for propulsion. But unlike hybrid EVs, the battery pack of plug-in hybrids can be charged at a charging station. And the fuel tank can be filled at a fuel station. This gives drivers the flexibility of choosing between a charging or fuel station when on the go. So, the battery pack of a plug-in hybrid EV can be charged with an external power source, by the IC engine, or regenerative braking. The cool thing about plug-in hybrid EVs is that they can run on two modes, an all-electric mode and a hybrid mode. In the all-electric mode, the EV is fully powered by the battery pack, and in the hybrid mode, it can be powered by both fuel and battery pack. So, if you drive a plug-in hybrid EV, it generally starts out as all-electric, but changes to the hybrid mode depending on speed and range of travel. It also switches between these modes depending on the charge or fuel available. If the battery runs out of charge, the IC engine will take over and vice versa. These EVs have a smaller IC engine and larger battery pack when compared to the hybrid EV because the electric motor is the prime source of propulsion. This allows plug-in hybrids to run for longer ranges and is preferred by consumers for this very reason. The Chevy Volt, Porsche Cayenne SE Hybrid, and Mercedes S550e are a few plug-in hybrid EV models. When set against the IC engine car, hybrid and plug-in hybrid EVs bring more fuel economy, less greenhouse gas emissions, and fuel costs to the table. All of which, when put together, reduce the carbon footprint of the EV.